Well, hello. You find me here in this, um, well, it's, I had permission to, to basically sleep here last night. Um, yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't many facilities, that's for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. We are, um, begging and borrowing what we can to make our life as a, an American truck driver. We've left our home, we've left everything behind, and uh, not that we had much in the first place, and we basically landed uh, somewhere in Georgia, we're actually in Knoxville at the moment, and it's a contact, I've seen this on uh, an advert online, um, basically I spoke to the guy, um, explained my situation, uh, I have got my um, truck driving license that's required, certainly for this state, and um, home I couldn't afford this truck. <laughs> So uh, that was a good start to the conversation. However, after a bit of talking to him, um, we came to an agreement that I would pay a percentage of any of my um, income to him as a down payments, almost like a lease. Uh, at the end of it, I might own it, but um, we'll do a quick walk around as we've got a, a load to pick up. We have so. Good old Freightliner. Uh, it's seen better days. It's, I mean, it's uh, the wheels, the tires. The, the tires really would be the first thing I think I would. I'm going to have to change at some point. They look brittle. They look. I mean, this truck's been lying in the yard for its part of seven or eight years. No, I haven't moved. Uh, I have moved it to this yard that we're at, at the moment, which has freed up the brakes. But there's really. Uh, we're really on a slim pickings, so we are. So I think the tyres first. Wheels are rusted. Uh, they will need replaced at some point, but we're going to have to prioritise what we what we take basically. So let's get ourselves. We have uh, made contact with the uh, the guy that sold me this the guy that sold me this truck. Sorry, his name is Sonny. He, um, he put me in touch with someone that was looking for basically a freelancer to, to, to take an odd trailer when uh, his guys were already out in the road. So he's phoned me and he said that there's a, a cargo container full of televisions that's to go to the next city along. So we're uh, going to head over there just now and... So, this is our attempt at not falling flat on our face. <clears throat> Whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. But, uh, if you don't go for your dreams, then... Uh, what, what are you going to do? Regret not doing it? Right, I'm going to pop in and get our paperwork and get things ready, so I'll be back in a second. Right, okay, so we've got our paperwork. We've got it signed. It was actually quite helpful. Quite observant, because my accent is obviously not from, not from these parts. So uh, yeah, he was he's quite helpful, he uh, told me the rules, told me what I had to wear a high vis when I was in the yard and told me that this thing was parked all the way over at the side.
Right, let's jump out and let's get everything hooked up, shall we? Right, okay, check the lights, check the brakes, check the tyres, done all my, my pre-check, pre-trip checks, I need to get used to the American slang, so I do. Some lights on this situation. Now, they are quite strict with the uh, speed limit as well. <laughs> quite fancy they have a stop sign in the middle of the yard. Okay. Once we get to the gate, I'll jump back out and give them the paperwork that was attached to the back of the trailer. So I'll do that from here. Right, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. He was just in the... Was he admiring the truck? I don't know if he was actually taking the mickey out of me. He, um, he said it was a nice truck and I laughed. Um, yeah. However, it's our first job. Uh, it's going to pay us a little bit. But it's not going to pay much if we are late. So, we're going to have to jump and go. Thanks for your help, buddy. It sure is hot down this... Uh than necessary. Oh, if I can find the gear, that would help. No, no fancy ass electric windows in this thing. So I really don't know, there is a concern whether I've uh, left everything behind and basically um, am I doing the right thing? I don't know. I only had about 15-20 minutes with Sonny to decide, to decide if we're both um, going to ben benefit from our uh, Agreement. Well, let's see. Quite dull. I wonder if it's going to rain. He says this is a straight shot, it's, it's really straightforward. The only issue with running a rig like this is the possibility of getting pulled over by local law enforcement. But just fair enough because when you see the state of this thing, yeah, you know, you'd probably find plenty of defects. What I'm hoping to do is I need to I need to figure out how much the tires are going to be. The tires are the first thing. It's the only things going to keep me on the road. You don't want to have a blowout with something that's uh, this size. Ah, 
Oh, uh, it's looking a little bit brighter along here. That's good. Really feels a bit of a fish out of water. Don't really know the area. I don't really know anyone in it. We know it's sunny. Uh, all of, you know, 20 minutes of a conversation. But at least we're going to make enough money where we can have something to eat tonight. We have a bed. We don't really need to worry about motels and things like that. They just cost money that we can't all afford at the moment. So it's televisions that we uh, that we've got on board at the moment. Similarly, we need to look out for. We don't want to basically stop in too many places because the uh, opportunity of being held up is quite high, which is a bit worrying. <clears throat> in fact, the the guy in the blue boiler suit back at the yard there had said to me, "Are, are you carrying?" And I'm like. Am I carrying what? He's like, he's like are, you, are you carrying a weapon? I'm like, no. And he just kind of looked at me as if I was a holy crap, this guy is just... This guy's not going to last two minutes. The only thing about this truck, and it's a very minor detail, is that the split in the uh, window in the passenger door is right down my mirror. So I can't actually see unless I move my head. Anyway, it doesn't look much from the outside, but I've cleaned up within the inside here. Managed to give a good clean and um, some disinfectant wipes, and there was a lot of cobwebs. There was a lot. I'm, I'm kind of concerned if there's any little creatures still living on board this thing, i.e. mice, field mice or mice in any way, shape and form. I really don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and have a mouse crawling about on that. Nah, it's, it's not even worth thinking about. So it's not. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. It's great being in a country you can actually have your window rolled down, because let's face it, there's no aircon in this thing. I don't think I ever had aircon in in the first place. It's a slider for hot and cold, but yeah, and cold blows more hot than anything else. It's nice, it's nice this time of the day where it's not really busy. I can concentrate on trying to do what I'm doing without loads of things running around my head to try and concentrate on it all at the same time. Good to see the fuel tanks aren't leaking. It's, it's holding fuel, which is a, uh, it's always a bonus. Man, I'm not even concentrating. Mm 
That wouldn't have been a good first trip, would it? Trash destroyed the truck. I have got insurance for the truck. <laughs> it's not very much. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Sunny would probably have uh, a higher value than what the insurance company has. Kind of keeping it under the speed limit because I don't one don't want to bring attention to myself and you know, two you really don't want to bring attention to yourself. You hear horror stories, but we're here to live the American dream. It's still taking me a while to get used to this turn right on red and things. Wow, those lights are terrible, look at them! <laughs> Thank god I'm driving at night just now. longest lights in the world. Do a little cheeky manoeuvre. Mustang over there. Right, let me speak to this guy. Hazards on, get my vis on, and I'll be back in a second. Right, basically just drive straight in here. He says he wasn't sure if the uh, this load was actually going to get dropped off today, so they didn't have a bay allocated for me. Right. Right. Let's uh go and find somewhere to park up for the night, shall we? It's quite nice in here as well. I have to say, everyone I have met so far has been really nice. Now, I'm kind of concerned that there's not really anywhere to uh, park up for the night. It's now turned to rush hour.
Okay, we found a place just round the corner, which is a restaurant. Tucked ourselves away in the back, out of the way. The good thing is that trailer's going to hide in when passing by, thinking, oh, this might be an easy, easy thing to break into. I don't, don't know, yeah. Steal the mice or whatever it is that's left there. So, it's all good. It's all good. This guy seems to be away to his bed already. I think there's a toilet in here as well. The fact that it also has cameras makes me a little bit more happy. So, it's not much. It's our home. Home on wheels. Ah, the tires worry me so much. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this, this evening. I uh, hope you can join me for the next episode and find out where we're going, what we're going to be hauling, and everything else along the way. Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.